Hi all and welcome to um, the latest update for Keith and Paula's pond build. Um, as you can see from this, the water level is lower than it was from the last update. Um, there's a, a good reason for that, which you'll find out later on in the video, so keep watching to find out what that is. Um, this week's update includes a couple of clips from in the week of how the water's been clearing up until we hit this. Um, and then um, the girls getting used to being around the pond windows without jumping up, etc. Uh, the fur balls. So I'm going to fling those clips up and then I'll come back and talk about um, what's happened. Um, be interesting to think what you guys think it was as to whether you think it was a leak or something else but let me put up those clips of, of uh, what's gone on in, in the week and then I'll come back and update you as to where we are now and why we're refilling um, some of it so see you back in a bit I did I really loved it and seeing people Falling by the way, so just give them more strength again. Think mm. I can keep going, I can mm. keep going for this, you know. I'm trying to encourage people to do it with you in our little groups and that. You know, we, you try, but you see their weaknesses, and it just gave me strength to keep going. So when you're in those processes, are you th are you all banded together going, we can do this together, or are you going, I've got to get through this, whatever you guys do? No, I mean, the first phase is individual. It's over to you. Yeah. All those navigation things and those carrying the weights over the moment is, is individual. Yeah. You're on your own. It's it's me versus everybody. When you get to the jungle, then you're into patrols, then it's teamwork. Yeah. Looking after each other, but looking after yourself. You know, you've got to, you've still got to make sure you're 100, percent then you can give 100 percent with the patrol. So it's that as well. So they're looking at everything. They're looking at you against us, and they're more of what are you like under pressure working with anybody else, and that, and that sort of stuff. Uh, so, 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 because yeah, because obviously they want you, but they want to know that you are somebody that can be a team player, I guess. Yeah. So if you're if you're too set off on your own yeah. and not interested in anyone else, no, it's it will work. So it's a delicate balance then. It is. It, and, and I know exactly how it works because I went back as a DS yeah. directing okay. stuff years later, so I knew exactly. At the time of no selection, it's kind of all all man for yourself, but teamwork when you need to be teamwork. You know what I mean? So Dad's now sat with Star and Mags watching the fish. Star's having a good sniff around because she can obviously smell the field mouse that was running around last night. And these pair are just having some fuss and watching the fish. We're obviously getting you, the girls used to being around the pond without them jumping up at the window. Um, I think that's quite important because we don't want it getting scratched um, but then they are <laughs> Maggie's for just for once I mean, <laughs> having <laughs> having a bit of a sparring match with dads and having more fun having a fuss than watching the fish which is quite unique because she, she does love watching the fish Star's always been the attention seeker anyway, which we know, so that's not a <laughs> The pair of them are having so much fun. And it's so nice to see them as well, just messing about without Star having to wear a muzzle, because she used to have to be muzzled, because she was quite nasty to her sister at one stage, but for the last two years they've sorted themselves out and it's just so refreshing and loving and just <laughs> look <tight. laughs> just like he's winding her up uh, it's great it's great to see and the pond is actually clearing up it doesn't look like it but it really is clearing up um, Star still sniffing around after the mouse.
Oh, that's what papers. Hmm. What's the matter with your bill? You sit here with the mugs. Can't go out there, can you? Here you can see the fish out there. What? Covered in fur? You can't even fucking stroke them down there, covered in fur. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Stalking of you, she can smell that mouse that was out. She, oh, she's really me. sniffing around for it. Well, oh, completely covered in fucking hair. I'm thinking a dog's ever about it. I don't to base, but fuck me, man, they're hard work. I know. It's fucking too big and furry. <laughs> yeah. Unlike you, little babies. Well, Maggie's just going to sit there and watch fish now. Yeah, whatever. Leave them out for a bit. Let them run around the garden. Oh, that's the fucking fish. Oh, that's the 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 Oh, <laughs> well, she's just losing as much fur as what they do. <laughs> no, well, near as much. Oh, she loves it. It's the way you go. Oh, my Okay, so that's what went on until um, Thursday, really. As you know, we lost um, a tench. We lost moonshine. Since then, um, we lost Popeye. He just seemed to have an epileptic fit, and it was just really weird. I've never seen a fish do what he did. He was, like, rolling around like... Just, I've never seen anything or experienced anything like it. And then the following day, we found another dead tench. Um, so, ended up doing some water changes. And, well, here's the results of that. So there you see, we had um, issues um, which came to light when we pulled out the Golden Orf. Um, I did post some photos up on East Midlands Koi. Thank you to everybody for your responses on there. Really appreciate it. I'm not going to put them in the update because they are quite distressing. Um, it's not nice to see a dead fish. No he, no, he wasn't a Koi, but it's still not nice. Is it? So... Um, We've got high nitrate and high nitrite um, issues. So both of them are midway, I, I think. They're like, they're not in the toxic, as in really high stage, but they're not in the safe stage either. So they, they're at 1% uh, as opposed to zero. Um, both of them, I think the 
nitrates probably be between one and two uh, or one and 1.5 sorry um, so that's what we're looking to combat now so basically what we did was we drained out a lot of water Friday into Friday uh, so we took it down to about this level two breeze blocks below the window and uh, then what we've been doing is because it takes ages to fill up something this size is filling up the temper pond at the top with the water uh, hose pipe from the external tap so filling this up full and then putting this in to kill the chlorine depending on volume water and measuring all that out and stuff and then when that's full and that's been mixed in and left for an hour or two we're then pumping the water from here down into there to refill that now i don't think we're going to fill it back up to the top of the windows at the minute that can wait there will be a bonus to that we won't need to put the net on the top because obviously we haven't got the jump guards if we're not filling it right full to the top at the minute then they're not going to jump out if it's not full to the brim um, so yeah not a great thing to be faced with as you can see Keith's over there cleaning out the Nexus 220 giving it a good hoover out of all any algae and stuff trying to help get rid of the toxins so I do apologise for the noise um, I've also bought an Evolution Aqua Pom Bomb which we will be putting in the filter after the water changes um, it's something I've always used in the past I've got to be honest and I rate them 100% normally and in hindsight I don't know why I've not done it this year um, but normally every spring so after the winter season, right, right, you know, while right, it's still like, just as the temperatures are starting to warm up and just as the koi start to feed, I normally sling some of that, uh, either a pom bomb or some of the little um, evolution, the little balls that you can buy, I can't remember the name of them now, um, into the filters just as the season's starting up and I haven't done it this year and that just goes to show I've never had a problem with nitrate or nitrite ever by doing that so maybe that's a lesson learnt because um, it's definitely something I will be doing moving forward because uh, we don't really want to be losing any more fish so this is where we're at at the minute trying to combat the nitrite problem and um, so no doubt I will add up a few more updates on that um, prior to this going live because I will do some further tests tomorrow just to see where the levels are at but the fish are, um, seem a lot happier today than they were the other day to be fair so let's just see um, how we progress. Go on, Dads. Go on. What's that got? Quick, get it. Get it. What's that got? <laughs> oh, <wimp. laughs> now she won't go in. We're now on Langranog Beach, trying to get a nest to go in the water, but Shane having none of it. <laughs> Mm. 
Not a minute. <laughs> Come get that. Come on. Yo. <laughs> no. No. Don't sit next to the mums. Sit next to the mums. Get that. Come on. Hello everybody, so it is now Sunday the 11th of June, it's 8.45pm and as you can see from those clips we had a random day out, we've had a lot gone off and we just wanted the day away so we um, got up really early and went to Wales for the day, um, we went to come today, we spent an hour there because that's a, a beach that Key's been to ever since he was a young boy. Um, so we go back there every now and then and then we went to Langranog which is a nice sandy beach and that's where we were trying to get Ness to her, go for a swim but she wasn't having it um, so with regards to pond since the nitrite spike we've done a 60% water change um, with dechlorinator Decided to fill it right up to the top again, not had a chance to put the net on yet so Keith put these temporary jump guards up this morning before we went away really early because um, we didn't want to come home to another moonshine incident because um, that would just not be something that we want right now. Um, the test kit that I used, I didn't mention, was NT Labs multi-test kit pond lab um, it's something that I've always used um, if I felt the need to test which I really do I think this is only the third second no this is actually the only the second time I've ever had to test water um, considering we like pumped the existing water into this new pond I know it's a new pond but we pumped that existing water into this So we didn't expect to have new pond syndrome, but we've done a 60% water change with dechlorinator. So hopefully that's cured it. I've not retested yet. That needs to be done, which I'll do ready for the next update. Um, this blue stuff on the ground that you can see is um, exterior carpet. It's outdoor carpet. Um, and what Keith's been doing, um, he's been using it as filter floss in that sieve filter there. And as you can see, the back of the shower has now got three layers. So the bottom two layers have got back of house media in. And the top layer has got this in. And this is what's from that top layer. Um, now it's really hard to see because we've been having thunderstorms and it looks like there's loads of fines in there but there's not, it's actually a load of muddy specks on the glass from the rain pounding up because we've had some right thunderstorms since we got home. Um, but the water's actually cleared up a lot and probably doesn't help with the glare of the lights and stuff. But when, um, here's the stellar, uh, when especially Quint because he's the big one when you see him swim to the back now yeah, you can see Stella swimming back over there um, you can actually see him at the back so I mean I guess the water change has helped as well but uh, yeah we're just um, gonna see how they fare um, not put the pom bomb in yet um, we wanted to get the water changes done first before that so that needs to go in but feeling quite comfortable with how things are at the moment they all seem a lot happier I doubt very much I will get this posted up tonight because um, I've got a lot to do before a long day tomorrow which will be in next week next 
well not next week the next update um so all well and good so far so again i appreciate everybody's input and advice on east midlands koi posts that i put up so thank you again um we're so yeah <laughs> more issues more adventures and um hopefully next update we will have some work done on the field house um and more news on my work situation as if one job isn't enough eh we actually like to be busy so thanks for watching everybody um, please do subscribe if you've not subscribed uh, there was a video we posted a couple of weeks back that ha had over a thousand views and I know for a fact I've not got over a thousand followers um, that would be aw awesome not the most exciting people in the world we just want to share our little adventures so uh, please do subscribe if you've not uh, like it give us a like um, if there's anything you want to know, any any questions you'd like to ask us about what we've got planned for the future, drop us a comment and I'll do my best to answer them in due course. For now, signing out. Have a lovely week and um, see you all soon.